Hi guys, I'm Pat Kelly. Okay, in this problem, they ask us to find the open intervals on which the function is increasing, decreasing, or constant. Now this idea of increasing or decreasing, or constant, that refers to the y values, the um, output of the function. Is it going up, 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 or down, down, down? So even looking at the graph that they just showed me here, be careful, I might look and see that, hey, that arrow even is going up, up, up. But that's not what's significant here. And what's really important is your point of view, your perspective. And what I mean by that is increasing or decreasing, or even constant, is all relative to your x's going from left to right. So let's take a look at that on the graph. What I'm talking about then is imagine you're like right there on the x-axis. And you can see where your y value is. Okay. I'm up here. Now it's very important that you take your x values and move from left to right. So my left hand here, I'm going to start moving this way. And as I move this way, what are the y values doing? Okay, so I'm going to start walking over here. The y values are coming down. So as I move from left to right on the x-axis, my y values are coming down. That tells me decreasing. Okay, so in fact, let's get part of our answer here. Then we know that this function is decreasing on, and even in the directions they hinted at the fact that your answer is going to be an open interval. So I'm going to have parentheses, comma, parentheses. And um, pausing here, just because it's important for you to realize that your answers inside the interval are x values. So you're looking at the y values going down, but it's all relative to the x values. And so that little walk that I was just doing, how far to the left could I have started that walk and the y values would be coming down? That'd be out at negative infinity. So this left end point of the interval is a negative infinity. And then how far do I keep walking until it stops going down, down, down? And that's that pretty clearly defined point there of negative one, zero. So your x value, though, is minus one. That's my answer for the decreasing. Uh, it's decreasing from negative infinity until I get to that x value of negative one. Similar reason, reasoning for the increasing. Now I'll come over here to this part of the graph. If you imagine yourself anywhere on that x-axis, start walking from left to right. As I'm walking here, what are the y values doing? I start moving left to right. The y values are going up, up, up. That suggests increasing. Second half of my answer here is increasing on, and then again, that interval needs to be your x values. So where would this walk have started as an x value? One. Where's that walk going to end? At the end of time, infinity. Okay. All right. Now for this particular function, there was a gap. Be careful. If our choices were increasing, decreasing, or constant, don't conclude constant here. Constant would have to mean that you're doing that walk from left to right, and there actually is graph that just stays steady, flat line. There is no graph here at all. This just means for my case, the function would be undefined between negative one and one. Okay? So that's my whole answer. Okay. Try some more on your own. Hope this thought process helps.